Hey guys, welcome back to Great Education. Today we're here to talk about Partner Forward, the first race in any given match. Partner Forward features both men and women and is a quick race, great way to start off a match. Partner Forward gets its name because men and women are joined in this race together as partners, moving forward, working incrementally down the grid to complete the race. This race is a great way to kick off a match, so let's get into it. The rules of Partner Forward dictate that only one male and one female may be allowed on the grid at any given time, and the male is going to be the first performing work on the grid. So in this particular Partner Forward, you'll see here, the first movement is Snatch, represented by these two barbells. Here's the male, and here's the female barbell. Second movement is Box Jump, so you see these boxes here, and again, male box, female box. So as you move down the grid, difficulty gets higher so more difficult and the rep scheme gets lower so a typical partner forward might start with eight reps in, in quadrant one and end with two reps in quadrant four for example we're seeing one male here represented by the circle and one female represented by the square at the call of the beginning of the race both will enter the grid at the same time but the female will enter the hash box which is dictated by these hash marks along the edge of the line here. She must be in the corresponding hash box to the work being performed. So the first barbell, first hash box. As soon as the male has done his set, he's going to get in the hash box that corresponds with the female's work, and she's gonna get in position and begin her work on the barbell. So this, this process is repeated, and as the female finishes her set of snatches, she'll go back to the hash box here, and the male will be in his set of box jumps. Of course, once he set his, finished his set, he will get in the hash box and the female will be in her set of, of box jumps. So this process is repeated all the way down the grid until all of the work is done and both players cross the finish line. Now the catch is, both can sub out at any point, but of course work can't be completed unless one player is in the corresponding hash box, so there's no advantage for one player to sub out at one time. You might as well sub both and have some fresh players. So. Let's take a look at a quick example of uh, Partner Forward in action. All right, here we have some footage of a Partner Forward from an actual race. See here, the male is about to enter the grid. He's the first performer. The female is here. She's also in position. You can see how he's ready to get right to the barbell and she is getting ready to go right to the hash box. So let's move, move it forward just a little bit here. So you can see he, he jumps on the grid. So just play it in real speed. At the beginning, he jumps on the grid, she gets in the hash box, and he begins working. Of course, it's all about speed, so he's going as fast as he can. And as soon as he's done, now something happened real quick I want to point out. As soon as he's done, he jumps back and tags in another player. And like I said, in the last set that I did of the screen share, you can tag in somebody at any given time. And when we talk about the strategy for Partner Forward, we'll talk about a, why a team might want to do what, what just happened there. But when somebody gets subbed in, he's going right to the hash box. So once he gets that hash box there, she can begin her work. And of course, she's doing her set as fast as she can. We'll start it on here. And you'll see the process when she gets done her set. She's going to go to the hash box. And, and get in position so he can begin his set of box jumps. So let's move this along here. So now you'll see one situation where you'll see what happened there. As she was going over on the last one, her hand touched. That was a fault. and therefore she must come back and do it again. He had to get back in the hash box to allow that to happen and move forward down the set. So we're gonna let this, this set play out. Same process, moving down the grid. She gets a little caught up in the balance there of the snatch, moves on. He waits till she's in the hash box before he begins. Here's her last set. Now you're going to see what typically happens is they will finish their two quadrants and sub in two more athletes to begin the last two quadrants. So this snatch is getting heavier as it moves down, but the rep scheme is getting lighter. So right now they're on four reps each. 
we're gonna speed it up a little bit. This is the last quadrant. Two reps, two reps. Play it out here. Two, and these are tall box jumps now. I think it's 34 and 36 inches, something like that. And that's it. The race is over. Of course, they won, as you can tell. So that gives a good sense of how the rules are used and the players move down the, the race called Partner Forward. Well guys, that covers the race for today. I appreciate your time. I hope you learned something and I look forward to talking to you soon.